Atlanta's Inspiration Station, Praise 1025, is Ja'Kayla Carr's family affair. I'm excited, family, because I am joined by someone whom I have watched um, for actually the past couple of years. Oh. And to see how consistent he is, how serious he is about his purpose, about his destiny, and what he know God wants him to do, especially in the music world, um, I think is so beautiful. Welcome to the show, Samaje. Ja'Kalen, thanks for having me. I'm just excited and stoked to be sitting here with this iconic <laughs> lady. I mean, she does it all. Oh, you are so welcome. Thank you for coming. Let's just talk. Let's just break it down like a fraction to the phone. Let's do it. Who is Samaje? Who is Samaje? You know what? A young Little plus size, <laughs> black kid from. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Um, from from Detroit, you know that that had a gift to sing and wanted to make an impact in the world, and not just do it, um, the way that I was taught. I grew up Kojic, my dad and them. Um, I was in church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like seven days a week. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to make sure that. I was able to use my gift to inspire somebody in the world. So yeah. just taking Jesus and faith to the world, showing them that you can do some everything. Yes, and I know that in 2022, uh, Samaj Entertainment Company partnered with Ty Scott Records to release your music, and it was the first release um, that you had. Was it Lovely Day? Yes, Lovely Day. Awesome, awesome. So listen, you gained, uh, well, actually your rendition of Dietrich and Demita's Watch Me Praise Him. Yes. Has gained attention as your current radio single. First of all, I think I saw you, you know what, these phones? <laughs> First of all, I think I saw you sing, it, sing that in, uh, was it Chicago? Chicago. Um, I think it was for any, I don't know. It was something I saw you sing it for. And when I tell you it was amazing. Thank you, Chicago. And that's actually one of my favorite songs. So what drew you to kind of recreate this classic song? And um, just how do you feel about your, your version? You know what? Dietrich is an icon. And I mean, he has put such a, like, iconic staple to music mm -hmm. and so when i heard this song we sang it in church mm -hmm. and i wanted to put a spin on it i'm like you know i'm gonna bring it to 2024 because i was in the ninth grade when the song came out mm -hmm. and i've been out of school for probably for about um about 14 years mm -hmm. now and um when i heard this record i said i gotta redo it it's call and response it's easy mm -hmm. um i you know put a little twist on there mm -hmm. and made it do what it do and it's yeah. just letting you know like if you don't want to praise the lord yeah. i don't need no help yo i can do it by myself so yeah, yeah that's what it's about yeah and it's so catchy like what do you feel like your style is my style i'm a huge fan you know like i'm a huge fan of jay moss mm -hmm. and um it's almost like jay moss meets Michael Jackson, in a sense, mm -hmm. if, if I can explain my mm -hmm. style. I love Michael. Um, very authentic and very, um, I'm not taking risks. Yeah. Good risks, nothing yeah. to get me in trouble, but right, right, definitely right. a risk that um, just me, being authentic. Yeah. yeah, family, if you're just now tuning in, we are still speaking with Samaje. Now, we all know that um, there's a lot a lot of music, um, lots of styles and things like that that you hear, that you come across. And in the world of gospel music, how do you navigate the balance between staying true to who you are, you know, versus what you hear all the time? Because some people feel like, oh, because this is a trend, right. I have to do this. Right. How do you stay true to yourself? You know what, Ja'Kalen, the thing is making sure that I know what I have to offer is just as good as anybody else. Exactly. Um it's only one me. Mm -hmm. I, I can be somebody else, but I'll be number two because yeah. that person got number one. But right. there's only one person right. that can be Samaj, and that's me. And so making sure I just stay true to what I have and knowing that what God gave me is enough. Mm -hmm. Don't compare it to nobody else. He gave me something special to give mm -hmm. me to a group of people, and I'm running with it. So I that's how it. I stay true to me. I love it. I love it. Um, what are some things or something that you're working on? It could be an album or whatever that you want us to know about yes what do, what do we have to look forward to ah <laughs> i'm working on my first ep um mm -hmm. my next single is getting ready to drop um okay. april and it's entitled green light it's it's crazy it's crazy, it's crazy. All right. i'm gonna let okay. you hear okay. like it, it's, okay. it, it's it's crazy <laughs> and um just letting people know about faith putting my style to the music and yeah. just getting out here and making it happen and i really want to get into this clothing thing i'm trying yeah. to partner up with some people i mean you're you're doing your thing oh. like you can really really dress thank you i appreciate yes. that so i've seen them from red carpets um, you know, out at certain events, you, you, yeah, you do a very great job. You know, this lady right here has, you know, broken the internet multiple times talking about style. So hearing <laughs> it from her, cool. I'm taking it. But yeah, trying to do something with the clothing thing and, um, yeah, make it happen. I love it. I love it. Now we're going to take a pause real quick. 
you know, we see a lot of funny things mm-hmm. in church, okay? Right. What is something that you've seen in church? It could be recent or whatever that you was just like, you know what? I, I, I It's hilarious. Something happened in the yeah. church. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I know, do. This is a random it. question. This is not, this should even be funny, but for some reason, when people are getting ready to sing and um, they start coughing before they sing, when I tell you, mm-hmm. it takes me down. So a lady was in church and um, she was getting ready to sing. The, or- the organist had set her up real good. And <laughs> she started coughing and she said, Ooh, I'm nervous. Nah, I'm nervous. And when I tell you, I literally could have fell out to Caleb because cool. it's like, you can't tell you nervous on this mic like this coughing. Exactly. And something like that is probably not funny to the average person. But for me, I'm getting ready to hear you blaze. Yeah. And you up there coughing so much you're nervous. I think it's for, uh, from a um, musician standpoint. Yes, uh, correct. An artist standpoint is very hilarious. Yeah, Because yeah. we know. We know. Yeah. Not, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Not now, not ever. Um. So... Um, as an artist, what do you fe- what do you want people to take away from Samaje, your music, your ministry? What is your purpose, your vision in your own words? You know, I want to let people know that you can have faith and it's offered to everybody. Jesus is offered to everybody. Um, you might have made a mistake. You might not dot every I, you might not cross every T, mm-hmm. but knowing that God has given us grace and mercy and understanding that he's a loving God and everything he do, whether it's correction, accountability, whether it's forgiveness, it's all centered around love. So I just want to let people know that no matter what, Mm -hmm. you have a chance to get your life right Mm -hmm. and walk with God. So just showing that and showing people that, hey, I'm not perfect. Because a lot of, you know, people think that Christianity is a is a perfect walk. And it's not. It's not. We're human. Mm -hmm. But we do understand we have a standard and that is according to the Bible and according to his way and his, you know, his will. And so just letting people know like, hey, you might slip up. And I ain't saying just be slipping up, just be slipping up now. Nah. <laughs> but making sure that, you know, we serve a God that's centered around love and um, he'll never let you fall. Yeah. He'll never what, leave you. What would you say to someone who's listening or watching um, who's in a place where they have fallen, you know, and they feel like I can't get back up or whatever the case may be? What would you say to them? The first thing I would probably tell them is read the Bible and you will see so many of so many versions of yourself in the Bible. Mm-hmm. You see how many people that God used who fell, who yeah. were um, not perfect, who were indifferent, and showing them that, hey, you see how they were still anointed. You see how they still have purpose. You see how they still blossom. So I really would tell them that, showing them that it's not over. Yeah, It's life. It's a right. part of life. Right. But trust me, the sun will come out in the morning. Yeah, and, and, the, and in addition to that, you know, once you come to that place, also... Do not allow people to hold what you've done, who you used to be, Mm. over your head. Correct. Because one thing about it, once God puts you back where you're supposed to be, all that other stuff don't even matter. That's real. You know, so you got to learn how to mute out the noise, mute out what you heard, even your own guilt. Yeah. (laughs) You got to ask God to free you from that so that you can freely get up. And be who he is called For you real. to be. And do your best not to do it again. That's it. Amen. Amen. Samaje is in the studio with us on today. Samaje, listen, tell us about any music that is available right now that we can go and get. Absolutely. I got a, um some good music out, Lovely Day, You. And then my, my biggest single to date is I Rely. And mm-hmm. it's, speaking of what she was talking about, the song is talking about um, the insecurities and all that and, and showing that if you rely on God, yeah. he'll come through every time. He'll never fail you. Man will. But God will never let you he down So ever. you can go check all that out There's some good music Some bops Some ballads All that Check okay, it out Okay y'all right We like a little bop You know <laughs> <laughs> How can people uh, Stay in contact with you For those who's not following you How do they? How can they follow you Yes I'm on Instagram TikTok um, Facebook Twitter And this You know Instagram got this thing Called Threads You use Threads Okay I be trying. You yeah. know, I'm not really tech savvy, so I'm trying to get into certain What? Things. You know, she she don't really got to be. She got a team that can do all that for her. But um, <laughs> you can follow me at um, I Samaje. That's I-S-E-M-A-J-E. And my name is James Phil Backers, added with the E. So uh, if you, you know need how to figure out how to spell my name, you can do it that okay. way. Okay. 
a little fancy. A little, <laughs> a little fancy. And also, you can go on YouTube, all of that stuff, and uh, get to know Samaje's ministry and all that he do from an artist standpoint uh, even more. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. Hopefully, I get a chance to see you again uh, live performing, which I know I will. You're oh. doing so great. Keep going. Keep pushing. And like I said, your consistency matters uh, because a lot of people think that, oh, I put out one song, then that's it. You know, right. the devil is a liar. If you want longevity at this, it ain't no one song thing. It you got to keep pushing. You got to keep going um, and making sure that you're connected to the right people for sure. as you go along your journey. For and sure. you're doing just that. So thank, thank you, Ja'Kayla. For that. All right, family, don't go anywhere. You never know who's stopping by the Ja'Kayla and Cars Family Affair. That's why you got to stay tuned in. There's more coming your way.